Hello, this is Pastor Larry. We're back out at the range today and we're set up at the 50 yard line and we're going to be shooting a new rifle called the Ruger PC 9mm carbine. All right, so stick around and uh, we'll show you how it gets done and we will compare it with our sub 2000 Keltec 9mm and just give you a, a, our insights on what we think in pairing the two rifles. All right, God bless. Praise the Lord and pass the ammunition, as we say. All right, the sub or the <laughs> Ruger PC carbine is a breakdown model. It comes with a 17 round magazine. I don't know if you can see that. Um, it also comes with a magwell for a Glock magazine that you can switch out. And it comes with some buttstock extensions. So this is it in a nutshell. I'll give you more stats on it later on. But I want to get it zeroed. It has a uh, ghost ring for a peep sight. I don't know if you can see that or not. Nice ghost ring. And uh, so I'm excited about it. I want to see... I was going to shoot today. I'm going to compare it with my Caltech 9mm sub 2000. So it ought to be fun. Stick around and we'll uh, show you the end results. You go, you, you know, you load the mag. These are the first shots through the PC carbine. And uh, we're going to see how we can do with this thing. See if we can hit the target at 50 yards. Hopefully it's zero, at least at 50. Ready to fire. Five rounds. Let's see what the bullets look like. Get my spotting scope. All right, let's see what we did here. Shooting a little bit to the right. Um, the adjustments on these things. Are different. You have to make some adjustments. With. The elevation seems to be okay. But it's shooting to the right, so I'll need to move my sight picture to the left. Alrighty, for uh, adjusting this uh, uh, ghost ring, there's two there's two adjustment points on the on the sight. Uh, there's an adjustment point here on the front for sliding left or right and there's adjustment Allen wrench adjustment back here for up and down 
so I got to adjust it the sight picture shot placement to the I'm shooting to the right so I need to go left so when I adjust the ghost ring I want to move it to the right and then I should pull my sight picture to the left <clears throat> I can't see with crap. My eyes are shot anymore. That's why I like to use optics, red dots, scopes. Open sights are not my cup of tea anymore. Much better. I'm right. I got a nice, uh, probably two and a half, two inch group. And uh, I just need to go up about three inches. All right. So we'll uh, go down range and show you the shot target, shot placement, and uh, make our adjustments. We've shot uh, 15 rounds at our 50 yard target. And uh, I got a target on the right, a target on the left. I shot one group on the, on the target on the right. And I shot two groups on the target on the left. Now, I had to make an adjustment to my sight, my ghost sight, and move it to the right so I could shoot it to the left. And uh, also, I uh, had to adjust uh, my my bench rest because I was kind of squatting down and looking through, looking down my sights instead of looking straight through my sights. That's going to make a difference, and I'll show you here in a second. Okay. All right. So here we go. If I can adjust this camera. I'm a one man show, folks. All right. So here it is. Here's my first shot group over here. One, two, three, four, five. <coughs> Excuse me. And so then I made my adjustments and I shot my next grunt shot over here. One, two, three, four, five. And that was because, like I said, I was looking down, looking down my sight at an angle instead of like straight through the sights. That's very important to understand. So when I elevated my the front of my rifle up, even with my eyes, uh, this is my second shot group on the left. That's a lot better. So now I just got to bring it up at 50 yards and it should be zeroed. All right. So, uh, so far I'm liking it. It's a lot better cheek weld on the rifle than the, than the kel -Tec. That's the only thing I don't like about the kel -Tec. Well, there's actually a couple things, but I like the kel -Tec. It's a very accurate rifle. However, and I'll talk about the differences later on but uh the the ruger pc carbine is a lot more comfortable to shoot so stick around and we'll get some more shooting done here and share the results
okay after making some adjustments and like I said folks my eyes are not good for open sights so I ended up moving I had moved the ghost ring down I thought if you move it down you would raise the sight picture up but evidently you have to move it up to move the sight picture up so anyhow this is where I'm at this is the, the group that I shot right here one two three four five after I figured it out and this is the second group one two three four five okay so those are pretty big uh, ghost ring on that rifle and for 50 yards that's a pretty good shot group again I don't know you know I'm putting the sight right the top of the front post right here at the bottom of this white so it sits here just like this so I adjusted it over here it's still shooting but I got two shots in over here so I'm gonna try to adjust it some more and see what happens and then um, we'll just keep figuring it out <laughs> all right Pastor Larry just here at the range trying to do what we do best be prepared for the fight all right I, and I'm gonna put a red dot on this rifle eventually I brought a red dot out here with vortex red dot with me but uh, I want to get it zeroed first with open sights and then put the red dot on it all right see you in a few all right okay I've been shooting this Ruger and I can't really tighten the groups up on it now I know I don't have good eyes but I'm not that bad of a shot at 50 yards so I don't know if this barrel's got to um, you know settle in or what but anyhow so here's the first group one two three four five here's the second group I adjusted it one two three four five so those are pretty big spread at 50 yards here's the first group I think one two three four five second group one two three four five so that's a really really big spread okay so I'm gonna shoot the <laughs> I'm gonna shoot the Caltech uh, sub 2000 <clears throat> and see if that's me or the rifle all right because I got the I got the Caltech dialed in pretty good and uh, I want to see what kind of shot group I get at 50 yards with the Caltech. All right, we'll just put up a new target and then we'll shoot it with the Caltech. All righty, we got the Caltech out. I'm going to set the Ruger aside. I got stuff strewn out all over the place. So, put the Ruger right there. It's just a one-man show folks so I gotta do everything myself <clears throat> poor man YouTube channel <laughs> that's what I had to call myself instead of Larry life adventures poor man YouTube channel all right so like I said here's the Caltech love the way this thing folds up one thing I don't like about it is you can't put a sight on it or a red dot and fold it but someone was saying you can mount it on the side. That might be a possibility. There's only a couple things I don't like about the Caltech Sub 2000. And um, number one is that I can't, I have to have a sight that I have to either have a um, quick release on, on the mounting option or I have to figure out how to mount it to the side when I use the red dot. Uh, and when you uh, shoot this thing, and I'll show you it, it's the the cheek rest the cheek rest is uh, right here on this tube and it's not very comfortable you have to really squint down squish down squish your face down to get a sight picture I don't know why but it's not very comfortable and you feel that kick with that nine millimeter right in the cheekbone now if you're fighting defending yourself 
and uh, you've got to uh, when your adrenaline's pumping you ain't gonna feel that okay your adrenaline's not gonna get it's gonna make that go away but nevertheless getting that sight picture is quite the quite the deal but we're gonna go ahead and shoot it see what kind of sight picture we get here come on man
All right, I've been out here shooting. I gotta go work tonight. I got me a job because I like to spend money. <laughs> I'm retired, but I'm also got a job, so so I can have my toys. But anyhow, I gotta get going. I haven't been able to do everything I wanted to do. It's been busy at the range, surprisingly. Seems to be more and more so. But I shot them both out at 100 yards, the kel and the PC carbine. And the PC carbine has the, has the Vortex red dot on it. And it can go green or red. But anyhow, I'm done. I want to get back to the house and get cleaned up and get ready for my shift. I work until about 1.30. So, Caltech, I need to do some adjustment on. I gotta do a lot of adjustment on the Caltech. But, uh, so, here's the Caltech. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, I think. And, uh, so, and then here's the PC. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. That might have been the Caltech too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I shot eleven times. And then these are all Caltech. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That might have been from eleven. So I think I shot eleven shots on each one. So there it is, the red dot on the PC carbine. Definitely doing what it should do. The Keltec with open sights. Like I said, I have bad eyes. I can't see without a sight. My eyes are gone. I can see. But I can't see good enough. You know what I'm saying? That's what happens when you get older, folks. Take care of your eyes. And uh, these glasses, I got glasses, but they just, they don't, they're not for seeing through that short distances. I can't see through short distances. But um, anyhow, I like them. I like the PC carbine. It's with a red dot. I'm going to get a different red dot, but. That's pretty good. A couple of shots off. 100 yards with the red dot's pretty pretty far. I can shoot out 200 yards the red dot, 300 yards. But uh, I prefer scope. So anyhow, this is where we are, folks. Just killing zombies. All right, this is Pastor Larry. You're not always ready for the fight. You're never ready for the fight. And uh. Just to let you know that we're going to be back here as soon as we can. All right, catch you on the next one. Bye.